Alright, so this is one of the stories that a family friend got. Um, I'm not sure if they were consolidating or liquidating the school book library or what exactly, but um, this one is The Strongest Animal by Janice Boland, pictures by Gary Teresi. We got a giraffe that's looking a little bit like it's got an attitude. An elephant, a primate there, an ant, a butterfly, and a lion. Which one do you think will be the strongest animal? Or maybe this bee cat. Meow bee, meow bee. Now let's read to the little bee cat. Hmm? Alright. Strongest Animal by Janice Boland, pictures by Gary Teresi, Richard C. Owen, Publishers, Inc., uh, Canada, New York. So we have uh, Rhino, I'm not sure what that is. Is it an antelope, a wildebeest? I think it's a wildebeest. And another giraffe. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry about that, B-Cat. Okay. This is not a very animal-friendly zoo, but it works well to actually get it in the photo or in the picture. We've got our human. It says monkey house. We've got a very small bird cage with what looks to be, is that a, like a red-tailed hawk? Into kind of parrot or like a toucan and maybe some sort of parrot. On Sunday, I went to the zoo. Okay, they went to the zoo. Did they go by themselves? Did they take, did they have their friends go or maybe their family? Let's see. I guess where it's not that important who we went who went with them, huh? Alright. I saw the biggest elephant. With tusks of ivory and great big ears. There's different varieties of elephant, but they're all very large. And I believe they cannot jump because they their knees don't work that way. I saw the tallest giraffe. <laughs> Giraffe's tongue is what's called prehensile. They can wrap it around things. And it's very long. And purple. I saw the funniest monkey. Ooh, look at that skillful tail holding on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't have any good monkey facts. I saw the fiercest lion. <sighs> My lion fact is that there's actually a very unusual um, group of lions where the girl lions. There's some girl lions that can get mean. It's not just the boy lions like everywhere else. How, how strange. Also, lions cannot purr. That's another little fact. He roared at me. Oh my. And I dropped my potato chip. Oh my. I like how his face is kind of droopy, dropping too. I think he's trying to say, You should eat healthier snacks. <sighs> then I saw the strongest animal of all a tiny ant. It picked up my potato chip. 
Oh, look, the potato chip's bigger than it is. And I guess that looks like an adult he's probably with, huh? Or there with. And carried it away. Ooh. Non-fiction note. There are more ants on the earth than there are people. Ants talk to each other by smell, by tapping, stroking, squeaking, and touching. An ant can lift an object 40 to 50 times its own weight. There you go, strongest one. So here's a picture of Janice Boland and Gary Teresi. All I have to say is, there's a butterfly on the front, but I don't get to see any butterflies in here. Did we just cut them out? Is that how that worked out? Or do they just look nicer on the cover? Poor butterflies. Because the monarch, they fly thousands of miles during their migration. That one's pretty impressive, but monarchs are not necessarily special to a zoo. But, do you have a favorite animal at the zoo? We like to go. Thank you so much for listening and you have a great day.